driving man. Yes, he went down. Well, he went down. pause and I'm going to come back and play Spike Drivers for you one time through at tempo and then we'll work through it phrase by phrase figuring out how John Hurt played it. Okay, so there's the intro that John Hurt plays for Spike Drivers. And as we look at this tune, we see that he's fingering the G chord with the ring finger getting the third fret of the sixth string, the little finger, the third fret of the first, middle finger, second fret of the fifth string. In the course of the song, he moves his little finger from the third fret of the first to the third fret of the second, the third fret of the third string. He'll pull his middle finger back occasionally and get the second fret of the fourth string, and every once in a while he'll use his index finger to get the first fret of the first. So it's very kind of compact, efficient left hand that he's employing here. And so, in his opening phrase, he begins like this. So what he's doing is, He's filling in on the AND of 3 and the AND of 4 here with his index finger on the open 3rd string. And this is something that John Hurt loved to do, is fill in on that 3rd string uh, on the upbeats, and it generates a lot of rhythmic impetus, you know, it just gets moving like a locomotive. Now he gets in the G7th. That phrase, he starts in the G7th without the little finger, but as he plays this little run at the end, he brings in the little finger. Then the little finger to the first string, down to the second, 